Okay, hello folks. Um, gonna do a, a video about a couple a couple of things, but let me crack open this. I got a Ziegenbach Texas Amber. It says kind of legendary. Let's see. I don't, know. I don't remember ever ha having one of these, so. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, let me jump right into this. I got a few things. I got this from the library. I was really surprised at the collector's edition of Return of the Living Dead. I was watching it, the extra, the special features. There's two discs. This, the second disc is all special features. This is a really good documentary that I'm watching right now. Oh, this is. See if he recognizes what I'm listening to. But this is really good. Uh, man, I have a couple of versions. I have like two of Eternal Living Dead already. But this one's really good. And I got this. Also from the library. The Haunting. Uh, I don't know, this look, looks good. And uh, I'll check this out. I don't know if I'll review it, but I'll definitely watch it. And I got the Charles Bronson collection. It has Cold Sweat, Chino, Lola, and Someone Behind the Door. Someone Behind the Door has Anthony Perkins. And Colt, I saw Cold Sweat. Cold Sweat was great. I mean, I don't know if I've ever, I've never seen a Bronson movie that I didn't like. And then I got this at Walmart for like eight bucks. Uh, Mystery Science Studio 2000, Mad Monster. I mean, it looks awesome. I love the cover. Um, love Joel and the bots. Uh, yeah, it's just, I was mad. I really didn't want to buy anything. I went to get some some Doritos loaded, uh, like they're like uh, jalapeno poppers with Doritos, <laughs> and I got this too. And uh, I'm gonna try to do two really quick reviews of um, so I have a, another beer ready. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I finally saw Turbo Kid on uh, Netflix and it was awesome. Um, one of my friends told me about it, said I would really like it. And I wanted to buy it, I just, you know, hadn't got, gotten to it yet. And I saw, I was at my friend's house, I saw it was on Netflix, I was like, we have to watch Turbo Kid, and, and uh, it was great, I'm gonna buy it, uh, you know, here they're making part two, if you haven't seen it, and you think it's something you might like, then it's probably, you are probably gonna love it, I loved it, there's so many reviews on it already, but I finally saw it. Uh, another movie I saw on cable I didn't, it was so late I saw like half of it I thought it was really good it was a lot of fun a little funny and gory it was cooties uh, about the kid the elementary school kids that turned into zombies at the school I thought it was really good it was funny as Elijah Wood and Rain Wilson I didn't finish it but um, I really liked what I saw and, and uh, lastly I don't know, I did see some other stuff. Well, okay, uh, I have the El Rey Network now, and I finally saw the Lucha Underground. I mean, I like wrestling, but I mean, WWE is just not something I want to watch. I want to see different wrestling, you know. Like, I remember they used to show Ring of Honor and the Mexican triple, AAA wrestling. It's TNA. It's just anything besides WWE is nice. Even though, I mean, it's a whole universe of wrestling stuff, and w but it's like a, the WWE universe. But seeing the Lucha Underground was, it was a lot of fun. It had just wrestlers you never heard of. It had Rey Mysterio, and it was just something different, finally. That, uh, I mean, no one's ever going to beat. WWE, but just nice to have some 
small alternative. And hopefully I'll have that El Rey channel for a while. And I can watch it. It comes out Wednesdays. If, if you have El Rey, you're probably watching it already. And what's the alcohol on this? I don't this is pretty good and like no aftertaste in this. I'm gonna crack open this one so it's cold. And uh, man, I, I've been meaning to review this, but I just keep forgetting. The um, on the Sci-Fi Channel, um, the Channel Zero, the Candle Cove. Did you see it? Man, it was really good. Like you know, Sci-Fi throws out all these shows. A lot of them are not very good. Uh, but the the Candle Cove one, I don't know if you, if you know about uh, um, what Sci-Fi is doing with the Channel Zero show. They're, they're doing the creepy pastas, and the first one they did was Candle Cove, which I had never heard of. If you heard of the Candle Cove, I mean. I just like the idea um, about a, a kids' TV show that no one really, rem they barely remember, and it scared the crap out of them, and now like it's coming back. Man, just that was intriguing. It was six episodes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I saw all of them, and it was, man, it was, you're amazing. I mean, the only thing I can kind of compare it to. Like David Lynch stuff. Uh, I, I think the director's name is. I mean, not of um, the Candle Cove, but uh, Peter Weir. His move, his earlier stuff. <laughs> That's who I'm thinking of. Uh, maybe Cronenberg's early stuff. Man, it was. It was. It was. They keep. I kept hearing comparisons to Stranger Things. Stranger Things is good. But it's just totally different. Uh, I don't think Stranger Things really is trying to be really scary or unnerving. Uh, but Candle Cove was. Uh, did you see that tooth creature, the, the tooth child, I think they call it? The puppets. There's, if you've seen it, or if you haven't seen it, there, there's this puppet show that the kids would watch when they're little and they would, they would mess them up. And the, the, uh, I didn't actually. I didn't think they were going to show too much. Any of the the puppet show that they watch, but they do, and the, the puppet show is awesome. I, I didn't think they're gonna show that much, but once they every episode they showed a couple of scenes. And it was weird, bizarre puppet stuff. Like there's puppets on a on a pirate ship. It's, I think it's supposed to be a little girl named Pirate Percy. Um, the the Jawbones. Weird, it's so weird, and it's, it, it really gives a uneasy feeling when, when they, they're watching. But the kids are like transfixed and just watching it. And man, it, like there was, it goes back to like 1988. The main character, him and his brother, the twins. There were some murders. His brother got killed too. Like the, the main character is Mike Painter. haven't seen it they're probably gonna replay it a bunch of times on sci-fi channel this is worth why you like uh, just weird stuff like I said like David Lynch did uh, Cronenberg uh, I mean it's not as good as their stuff but it, it does come close and then oh, the, the last episode it, it, the ending I didn't think it was the ending could be as good as like the whole show is and it, I mean, there's no way it could have been because I mean, it's so good. I was like, I can't. I mean, I thought it was gonna have a weak ending. I mean, I thought the whole show was gonna suck. But it had me watching it every every Tuesday night. And, man, it was it was. Um, I think it's my favorite show. Of. I mean, the, I mean, yeah, I like The Walking Dead, of course, but just this Candle Club is doing something so different. And if you check out that. <laughs> Creature. It was, when I saw that, I was like, man, this, this show might suck, but this tooth creature kid, man, that is freak, some freaky stuff right there. And like I said, the, man, there's, there's 
lot of good imagery in it. The, action, the show just had a, an easy feeling most of the time. And then stuff with like kids, you know, killing people. Man, it's better than Children of the Corn. And there's a few, there's not too many movies, you know, with kids killing. But that's kind of what Candle Cove was about. It was just, man, the, the skin eater or the skin taker. He was a skin eater. Uh, man, there's just so many, like I said, images. Uh, just, I totally recommend it. I don't know when they'll release it. Yeah, uh, Turbo Kid was great. Cooties was really good. I saw some bad reviews about it, but I thought it was good. But definitely, all, all of them, but Campbell Cove it was a really good show. Six episodes, it's over, and they're going to go on to the next. I can't really imagine, man, if the, the next ones they do are as good it is Candle Cove, that would be great. I don't know how they could top this. There's, Start off really strong, and I don't know what the, I don't know what they're gonna do next, but I'm definitely gonna watch. And uh, that, that's it for uh, for this one. You know, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.